Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install the additional libraries needed for OpenPGP and SFTP ciphers. These aren't included by default, so you have to download them. And here we are in a web browser on the Java download page. We want unlimited strength jurisdiction of policy files. So click on download and then click the file. It's less than 9K, so you'll get it pretty quickly. Now that the file is downloaded, we're going to the .install4j subdirectory off where you installed Jscape MFD server. So we want you to open up the inst underscore jre dot cfg file. And this tells you where your Java is installed. So you want to go to that directory, then lib, then security. And then you're going to back up local policy and US export policy. Could put these in archive, but we're just going to rename them with a backup in front of the file name. All right. Now both files are backed up. We're going to open the archive that we just downloaded, which contains replacement files for those two we just backed up. So we extract it. So now to put this into effect, all we need to do is restart the service. So we'll use restart underscore service dot bat, which as you can see is just server exe with the dash stop and then the dash start command line options. So we'll just run it which as you can see stops and then starts the service. And you'll also need to close out server manager and rerun it. There, you're done, ready to start using those additional libraries. So to recap, in this video, I went over how to install the additional libraries for OpenPGP and SFTP ciphers. For more information on Jscape MFT server, please visit jscape.com.